because you guys both have clients now who are active NFL players, I'd love to get your thoughts. What do they think about Roger Goodell? Well, it's my opinion that the NFL and Roger Goodell is not doing a great service to the game. The fans are not paying, no offense to Jimmy Garofalo, he might become a great quarterback, but the fans are paying to see Tom Brady's, and they're, they're paying to see the great stars. And suspending great players makes absolutely no sense to me. There's other ways to discipline them without hurting the shield, without hurting the best interests of the game. I've got an 11-year-old son, and you know everybody outside of the house thinks he's uh, the perfect child. But, because we will take away his iPad and discipline at home. Nobody needs to see what we do to discipline our child outside the house. And I just don't think it benefits the game by publicly disciplining our greatest assets. I think there's a fundamental disagreement that we have as players and player agents with the, with the league office down there on Park Avenue. We believe the players are the, the greatest asset to the game. And why would you want to degrade your greatest assets? It makes absolutely no sense to me. In some ways, though, the NFL could come back and say, this is the agreement that we all had with the collective bargaining agreement, the newest one. The players gave up a lot of power. Sonny, during those agreements, were agents telling their clients, don't sign this. Do you realize what you're giving away to the league? Yeah, we, we, we definitely are. We're trying to educate our clients on, on what it is that they're about to sign and, and try to educate them. But at the end of the day, it's, it's, the, it's every player, everybody signing it, and, and you know the decision was made. So once the decision's made with the new CBA, you have to inform these guys and, and make sure that they don't make more bad decisions. Do you agree with Peter? Do you not believe that Roger Goodell, I, I I'll paraphrase for you, that doesn't really have the best interest of the players in mind? Well, I, I agree with Peter. I think, and I think that's why during these next set of labor discussions, this is going to be a huge topic, and, and, and Goodell's authority and, and how he disciplines players, I think, will be you know, up for discussion. I'd love to get your takes on this. Why do you think it has gone this far between Roger Goodell and Tom Brady? How have we gotten now to where federal court is involved? Well, I think it all starts from the fact that you have, every decision should be made by what's in the best interest of the game. And I think that you had too many egos involved and, and, and once egos get involved, rational decision gets thrown out the window. And before Roger Goodell, she, made a decision, we're, we're going to suspend Tom Brady, let's think it through. Let's talk to the union. He and D. Maurice Smith should talk. He and the Patriots should talk. Let's try to handle this behind closed doors. Find a way to, you know, I have a saying that goes, you know, the great leaders of, of our society are not the ones that got us into wars. They're the ones that keep us out of wars. Mm -hmm. And right now we're not getting great leadership because we're, we're in too many wars that we should be out of. It's not good for the game. Would you go as far to say you think Roger Goodell should be replaced? Absolutely. I think he's hurting the game. And, and I'm not going to make any friends over at Park Avenue. I mean, maybe he'll learn from this and stop making these mistakes. But I really think that he's got to, um, you, you just can't love the players on draft day and hug them. <laughs> you can't do it. And it, it's great PR and stuff. But you've got to love the players every day. And the, the, these are 21-year-old kids, 24-year-old kids, and they make mistakes. Heck, Sonny and I have made more mistakes than probably anybody. Yeah. You know, we've been in the business a long time. And yet we get second chances. So if a player makes a mistake, you know, DUIs happen all the time. They're horrible. Nobody should drink and drive. But still, let's learn from it. Let's teach them. Let's educate. Let's counsel. You can find a player a lot of money, and that hurts a great deal, without hurting the game, without hurting the fan base, mm -hmm. and, and, and keep this game. This is the greatest game ever in the history of professional sport. I think, and to jump on what Peter's saying, I mean, there's got to be a better way to discipline these guys. Um, I mean, they, they get disciplined in the media. They're they're on the cover of magazines, they're in the headlines every day. There's just got to be a different way, you know, to, to approach this.